Alright guys, today's video here is going to be on my OnePlus 2. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the fingerprint scanner feature. Now this is being shot right here on my Samsung Galaxy Note 5. So it's going to be a camera and audio test shooting in 4K, but also setting up the fingerprint scanner on this device right here. So kind of a dual whammy here. So to do this, um, we're going to do a couple things. First thing you got to do is you actually have to turn on security settings and get those set up before you can even get your fingerprint stuff set up. So to do that, you're just gonna go into uh, security right here and you're gonna go to screen lock and you can pick whichever one you want of these. I would recommend, well not swipe and not none. So pattern, pin, password, I'm gonna do pattern. And just really quickly gonna do a simple little pattern of, you know, an L, continue, do that again, continue. There we go. And then you can pick, do you want notifications to show on your lock screen? I'm gonna say show all, just cause I like to see them. And now it has right here enable fingerprint. Okay, so now you can enable that and go ahead and enable it. Hit okay. And again, it's gonna ask for the same swipe password you set up. And now you can come in here where it says add a finger. I've already added my thumb, so I'm gonna add my pointer finger this time. So I'm gonna say add a finger. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And this is pretty standard. I mean, you just cover up the sensor here on the bottom. Take your finger off, cover it up again. And it just keep doing it until you get to 100%. This is basically the same process with every uh, fingerprint sensor you set up on any device you do. Um, very much the same process on the Samsung Galaxy S6, Note 5, and so on. Now I've heard that this sensor works really, really well, and about 95% of the time it unlocks your device, so I'm kind of excited to check that out and really just see how well it actually works. Come on, we're getting so close, I can almost taste it. All right, come on, one more. So the way it should function is you should basically be able to Hold your finger on the sensor with the screen off and unlock your device. So that's what we're going to test. So I'm going to say finish. You can see right here there's another thing that's really cool. I've named that one thumb already. So if you hold down on any fingerprint, you can rename it or you can delete it. So if you want to do that, you can. Very nice that you have those options. And all right, so we're pretty much done. We've got this set up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my screen off. And I should be able to hold down my thumb or my pointer finger on the sensor. And it should just, yeah, there you go. No mention of the unlock screen, no anything like that. It just, boom, right into the phone. That is a beautiful thing. That is not even a button down there. It's strictly a sensor. Um, it is capacitive, so I mean, it works as a home button, but you don't actually press anything. Just set your finger on it and you're in. Man, that's nice. Now, if you put the wrong finger on it, for example, it's actually not even doing anything, which is interesting. But if you unlock, now you can see it's asking for it, or you can swipe up and you can put in that pin to get into the device that way. So either way, it works quite nicely. Well guys, there you go. That's gonna probably wrap it up here for me on my OnePlus 2. And uh, this little video here with my, oh, that's nice, that's quick. With my Samsung Galaxy Note 5, this is a great audio and video test here on this device and it covered quite a bit. So hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more coverage on both these devices. I did just pick up obviously the Note 5 right here. So I'll be doing an unboxing or not unboxing, probably just a review video of it. Stay tuned for that and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.